All right, I'm going to quickly show you um, something about importing filters. So what we've done um, is created some pre-made filters for you to import into your Gmail. Uh, and these filters are all based upon the Google Groups that were created. So essentially, you know, being able to create the equal to the conferences in first class. So what we have here are Google Groups for McGovern, Memorial, Middle School, and High School. And we've created a filter for each one of these. That's what these links are here. So when you click on this and then click on the link, which you'll see in a minute, it'll download the filter for that link. What you have below is also a link called All Filters. And if you download this um, filter, it's going to include all the filters for each of these groups, all the groups in one file. So it might be good to just download that file, import all the filters at once, and then later on remove the ones you don't need. That may be the simplest thing. Um, if you're not part of these groups, you're never going to get emails when they're sent to one of these groups anyway, so the filter just won't be used. It's just running in the background. So what we're going to do is um, show you one how to download and then import and kind of what it does so to download you click on the link to any one of these including the all filters whichever one you click the link here and what you're going to see is it's going to open the file sometimes it'll download automatically depending on your settings but if it doesn't download and you'll know that by a window being down here that shows your downloads which it didn't here you click the arrow to download and you're going to see right there in the bottom of the window it downloaded the pre-k.xml so I know that it downloads so I can go ahead and close that um, so what all these filters do and it says it right here is anytime an email gets sent to one of those groups it's going to skip your inbox and apply a label called you know the name of that group and just go right to that label so over within Gmail I can click my gear icon settings go to filters scroll all the way down I'm going to import a filter, choose my file, and there's my pre-K and my downloads folder, pre-K. I can double click or single click and then open. It's going to open the file, and there it is. Anything sent to pre-K at medwayschools.org will skip my inbox and apply the label called pre-K. So I can choose this box, apply new filters to existing mail, meaning if there's any email in your inbox currently that matches that criteria, it'll apply the filter. So I can create the filter, and it created it. So um, I can see uh, pre-K right there. There's my filter. And again, if you've downloaded them all and you feel like you don't need them, you can simply download or delete any of the ones you don't really want in your uh, kind of email system. So now to show you how that works, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just compose an email to myself. And now instead of that being the filter, right, which would have been, you know, high school at medwayschools.org, pre-k at medwayschools.org, the filter I'm going to show you, but it works the exact same way, is I created a filter called um, anything that has the words test and filter in it, create the label called filter testing, and move it out of my inbox, skip my inbox. So it's going to do the same thing as the filters we created for the schools, but this one is just saying with the words, test filter, skip the inbox and apply the label. So I'll show you exactly what happened. So I'm going to click send now. And you're going to see, didn't pop up in my inbox, but all on the left side over here, filter testing. I can click there, and there's a couple emails right there. So, skip my inbox, went right to these folders, I can delete those, and that's that. So you can see all these labels, High School, HS History, McGovern Paris, McGovern Sped, these are all labels that were created automatically through the filter. So as soon as um, an email goes to one of those, just like you saw that filter testing one, um, it's going to pop up here as bold with a number, just like this inbox one did, um, but it will show the name of the group and how many emails are in there so you can kind of get notified uh, right away if an email has been sent to that group. So instead of having to go to specific conferences in first class, those essentially those conferences, those folders show up right here in your inbox. And the setting with next to those labels, I have all show up unread. That means if a new unread message goes in, that label will pop right up, you'll be notified right away uh, if an email is there. So um, it's a quick, easy way to deal with those conference kind of things, organize your inbox, uh, and we've created all these for you. Um, so
So you can see there's also another one down here for the support tickets, meaning anything sent to you after you submit a support ticket. We'll also do um, create a label called MedYIT. Go right to that label. So if you find you have filters you've created that you think other people may value, let Paula or myself know, and we'll make sure we get it on this, this list. Okay, thanks.